Welcome, my dear children. In the previous videos, I have told, okay, I have completed one, one scene in the drama Old Man River and I have started the second scene, right? So, in this video, we just uh, continue that scene too. So, in our previous uh, videos, we have seen the characters, totally seven characters. Amy Marshall, Betty Marshall, Rosefield, Amy Marshall and Betty Marshall. Both are sisters. Amy Marshall is 17 years old girl. Betty Marshall is the younger sister of Amy Marshall, right? Third character is Rosefield. Who is Rosefield? 16 years old. That's a Marshall's neighbor. That's a Amy Marshall's neighbor, Rosefield. Fourth character is Sarah Field. Sarah Field is a nine years old girl. She is a sister of Rosefield. This, these both are sisters and these both are sisters, right? Next one, Jim Hall. Who is Jim Hall? You already told, no? Who is Jim Hall? Will you just remember that? Yes, Jim Hall is a 17 years old man. He is another neighbor of Amy Marshall. Amy Marshall, okay? The next character, sixth character is Mr. Peters. Mr. Peters is a member of Red Cross Disaster Committee. What's a Red Cross? I told you, no. Red Cross where they will help our children and our persons in the time of emergency, that is uh, during the disastrous time, like that, Red Cross. So he is a member of a Red Cross Disaster Committee. The last, the final character is Penny Marsh. It's a beautiful, Penny Marsh is a beautiful character. Why you no? Know she is a beautiful character? Because she only helped the one character. Who is that? I told in the last video. Sarah Fee, she got wound, you know, she fell down and she got wound in her knee. This Marsha, Penny Marsh, who is she? She is a Red Cross nurse. She only helped, treat her, Sarah and she helped her. Right. So these are these seven characters we have seen in this drama. Right. And the scene one opens in the late afternoon in the March. And the scene 2 opens in the time of, that's a, one hour later. A setting, both are same. In a Jim Hall's home. Right. So I told that Amy Marshall, that's a Betty Marshall's parents were not there in the home. They were alone in their home. Her mother, unable to return. Since there is a heavy rain and the flood, right? And their father is in Chicago. So who helped them means Jim Hall, a neighbor of uh, Marshall, right? He helped the children just by going to the home and by helping and by giving confidence, he helped him, right? So we have seen that, that is, uh, the children understood the river was swelling. They understood the situation and they all just uh, be very brave, not by crying or not by losing heart. They just be brave by facing that situation, even alone, right? So they took responsibilities of each other. That's like cooking and taking up blankets, coats and everything. So what Jim did? He climbed the attic. What's the attic? The top of the building. Attic, right? He climbed to the attic and onto the roof. And he was uh, waving a flashlight. Why? I don't know why he was waving a flashlight. What's the purpose of waving a flashlight? Why? Because 
the persons those who are seeing the person could see the flashlight from the place nobody was waving so the person so people could understand that uh, someone is there they need some help the rescue to usually no red cross uh, i told no red cross what they will do no in the time of the disasters they will come in the boat okay and they will help people those who need help they will help the people just uh, they will see the person who need help and they will help them so he was waving the flashlight that is that any persons will come there and they will just uh, help so what happened by using the flashlight they are saying what food they have at the time what happened suddenly they hear the uh, some noise okay that is used that uh, what's that noise means uh, they hear some sound for a uh, the child child's voice of sara so what happened to sara who is sara first she is the rose field sister right she caught in the playhouse porch was a porch veranda right she caught in the playhouse porch and she fell off there jim saves her and she and uh, jim enter carrying a uh, sara pick back that's her uh, carrying on the shoulders and uh, as jim was wet what the children did uh, they gave the our uh, fathers okay their fathers dress as he was wet because he want to change dress right so they gave their fathers dress clothes to him okay and i told the river continue it was just kept on rising so jim has to light the candles okay so betty also light the flashlights and she light the three candles and okay the jim also was waving the flashlight at the attic so up to this uh, we saw in uh, scene one so in scene two and hall later the same group was uh, sitting on the living room except uh, jim right so at the time sara was feeling asleep and by covering a blanket she was uh, sitting on a big chair now at the time they have a uh, three candles on a table now betty tried to read but she couldn't read right and uh, they heard some noise and they heard some sound what happened that we are going to okay i told no what happened they uh, just uh, heard some sound around the home so and how later what happened the children uh, without any flashlight all the children they try to keep them safe right so after some time no it has uh, stopped the raining so what happened jim what he said after stop writing what they did so jim said that to just uh, we have to move on everything to the attic for safety so what are the items he told to move first to take first one is the food then what are the basic things so uh, betty she uh, saved her new spring coat so what emmy did know she decided to save her uh, father's uh, books and uh, mother's uh, jewel case but what jim told we have to concerned that we have to take uh, first water and food because that is more important he told right so then by then what happened two characters entered here who is that can you do you remember that now the two characters i told so that is one is a uh, peters so by then what happened no the peters that's a member of our red cross disaster committee and the miss marsh a nurse came for their rescue for saving in a boat so now i told no that's uh, everywhere it was filled by water now in this time one uh, incident happened what's that that is sara falls off fell down by stepping into the ladder i 
and uh, she hurt her uh, leg in her knees but uh, who's that no penny mash a nurse she assured that they can fix it up fix it up okay by what no just uh, by the by using the splinter splint she could uh, splinter legs up okay so i told no that is uh, she could uh, fix it up and they could all uh, uh, get into the boat that is uh, she had broken her uh, right leg okay right knees so i told no i end uh, the last video that is uh, she splint her leg i told no what is meant by splint a long flat object uses support for a broken bone so that the bone stays in a particular position while it heals that is a object which we use to just uh, uh, keep stable the bone for joint right so she they splint her legs okay now just continue the video continue the lesson they splint her legs by what no with pillows and uh, umbrella below the knee below the knee, knee j- they just uh, kept the uh, pillows umbrellas right then they lifted her okay just uh, they just uh, kept the pillows umbrellas and uh, they just left okay they just uh, left her lifted her safely into the boat because they want to go into the boat who came there the rescue team came there so they just uh, lifted her safely into the boat she was taken to the red cross hospital okay she was taken to the red cross hospital so now the interesting thing do you know okay let's see do you know box interesting thing do you know the that's a okay the fourth uh, oldest dam the fourth oldest dam in the world okay do you know what's the fourth oldest dam in the world do you know that uh, dam name and do you know who built that so it was built by the king it was uh, built by the king karikala chola okay it was uh, built by the king karikala chola and uh, uh, that is across the river okay it was built across the river by karikala chola the uh, across the river kaveri okay across the river kaveri in the second century ce in the second century it was built by karikala chola uh, across the river kaveri do you know what's the name of the dam it is called the kallanai dam okay it's called the kall you have heard this you have read about this in your social subject right so it is called the the, the kallanai dam that is or uh, you can say the grand anaikat right which was built by karikala chola in the second century that is kallanai dam or the grand anaikat one for small information it was given in your book right okay so i told no by using the umbrella and the pillows they just uh, lifted her safely into the boat she was taken to the red cross hospital right now jim and amy stay and send others into the rescue boat that is sara and uh, sara and uh, rose and betty were taken in the boat okay now i will ask one question how does red cross help the children do you know that how does red cross help the children do you know that that red cross no they helps the children by taking them in the boat because red cross is especially for children they help the children by taking them in the boat and uh, that had what are all the needs like a uh, food lanterns and the rescue team they were helped by all by the needs of a uh, food lanterns the lights uh, and the rescue team they will help by this who's that the red cross team okay okay let's continue now jim and amy decides to wait on the roof 
Okay, they decides to wait on the roof. Miss Marsh, okay, Miss Marsh, who is that Miss Marsh I told? Red Cross nurse, right. She relieves Sarah's pain because she got wound, she got hurt in her right leg. Alright, it was uh, a splint, okay, when a flat object was kept inside. So now she relieves Sarah's pain. Now it was over. That's the scene was over. That's it. Okay. Now she just relieved. Because who helped them? That the Red Cross rescue team. They helped them. And now they took off out of the town. Now they were safe. See the children without their parents. How brave they are. How they manage that uh, situation. And of course, their neighbor, the gym helped them a lot. Right? So that's it, the scene over. And that uh, they caught in the disaster flood. They unable to go out. Just by thinking, by using their clever mind. They just uh, rescued by that uh, Red Cross committee. You have to learn something. In the time of emergency, how we should be? I told, no, Jim told that in the time of emergency, we have to remember two things in mind. That one is, even though we are scared, we should not uh, show to others that how scared we are. First thing. Second thing is, the basic things like uh, food, uh, water, blankets, coat, everything. We have to take all these things together in uh, one place. We have to gather all things together in one place. Two things in the time of emergency. We have to keep it in mind. Not just reading, memorizing, writing the exam, getting marks is not important. We have to learn something in from the every lesson. Not only in this lesson. Every lesson, you have to learn something. That's important. That's a motto of learning. That's called learning. You have to learn something. Okay. I think you have enjoyed this lesson, right? Just come to the conclusion. So I told no, just uh, they uh, that Marsh also, that Penny Marsh, uh, she just uh, relieves the Sarah's pain. Now Sarah also get cute. Now at last, Jim and Amy. Amy is the elder of that uh, children's. She took responsibilities, right? We have to learn that the elders, okay. They, she took responsibility for taking care of those little ones, right? So at last, you know, after these incidents, Jim and Amy sip their coffee, feeling happy. They, feel, they felt very happy because they rescued, they saved their lives, right? They felt very happy by sipping their coffee. And uh, about discussing about the disaster committee from the Red Cross. They were discussing about those incidents. About the Red Cross committee and everything. And finally, no, they uh, thank the disaster committee and uh, a Red Cross nurse for their emergencies. They thank the Red Cross committee. So without them, no, they couldn't uh, go out. And this nurse, uh, timely help, should be a timely help. We should not forget that, right? So they thank them. And the drama ends. This is the drama. I hope you understood this drama very well. And children, that's my request is, you just see the videos again and again until you understood the lesson better. Because when you are reading the question answers paragraphs, you no need to memorize if you understood the lesson very well. I am sure you can ask doubts in the online classes after watching these videos. I am ready to clear all your doubts, right? So watch at least three times per video. Then sure you can understand.
they no need to memorize just by memorizing a word by word no need it just by understanding you can easily read the question and just paragraph i'm sure you can get a good marks okay so learn the lessons very well and let's see in next poem unit 3 poem okay let's see in next video thank you children